bring you that story soon. But right now, the fight back happening in some of Australia's toughest suburbs. People who are proud of where they live and determined to turn around the negative perceptions of their home. Get down to Franks and have a great day in Frankston. I live here. I'm proud to be here. Us doing this stuff and travelling around has changed people's idea of Elizabeth. Now through it, Frankston, Logan, Elizabeth, Rockingham. If you live near any of these places, chances are your opinion of them may not be very high. But these people are on a mission to destroy all of those negative stereotypes. This is the image many people conjure when they think of Logan south of Brisbane. Enter One Hope. A group of local teens drawn from different backgrounds, using music to shatter the old cliches. One heart. Logan councillor Steve Swenson formed the group. One Hope is showcasing our young people and who the real young people of Logan are. Great young people with hope and a real belief in the future. People like Vayuta Falatui. School captain and star of the group with the voice of an angel. Can we all just get along? Logan is not a bad city. People here are so genuine, they're so kind, they're so loving. Sadly, I, I believe 99% of our young people are tarred with the same brush as the 1% who misbehave. And these guys are going about fixing that. Mount Druitt in Western Sydney also has an image problem. But the community of Bidwill is fighting back. Three, two, one. I love Bidwill because it's a good community. 14-year-old Jessie is part of a team making a YouTube video to change people's perceptions. Oh, people think it's crappy, not safe, dangerous, you get stabbed, you get shot, drug goes in here. Yeah, but it's nothing like that. Called Beautiful Bidwill, the finished product is pretty slick. The kids learn some new skills too. What I want you to do is just do nice little smooth movements just across like that. I believe when kids are proud of where they live, then they're proud of themselves. Hey guys! It's the brainchild of Henry McCarthy from youth group Fusion. Imagine Western Sydney uh, bringing hope to the world. Uh, I don't think you have to imagine very hard when you see these kids. Oh, 26 miles from Melbourne, oh, come along with me. Down to the morning in Peninsula and Frankston by the sea. In Frankston, they've gone one step further. Hi, and thanks for joining me on Frankston TV. Starting their own TV channel to showcase locals' own videos of what they love about it. It's all happening. Beautiful beaches, stunning beaches. So come to Frankston. The local mayor is a huge fan. Hey folks, Daryl Taylor, mayor of Frankston, down here at Flinders Street, promoting I love Frankston, and I really love Frankston. Looking to destroy once and for all the nickname Frank Ganistan, and show Melbourneites what they're missing out on 40 kilometres away. Get down to platform nine and ten. Get on the train. Get down to Frankston. Have a great day in Frankston. You might even see the next big thing. But you just treat her right now. The voice of Frankston is one of the TV channel's top shows, unearthing talent they say the area is brimming with. Have I told you lately that I love you? Elizabeth is another suburb often left wondering where the love is, seen by many as the poor northern cousin of Adelaide. But now... The Royals are coming. The Royals' visit to Elizabeth is a huge opportunity for the area and it enables us to be able to celebrate community pride. William, Kate and maybe baby George are dropping by the Northern Sound System, in the suburb named after the Queen, and these boys can't wait. If we get to meet him, I would love to teach uh, Prince George some tricks and uh, just demonstrate to him what we've got if he's not napping and stuff like that. Luke and Jake are members of the Elizabeth Riders Committee, a group of teenage skaters who become role models for their peers. I used to be like, a really bad kid and then I came into the Riders Committee and like, I don't know, I just became more mature and stuff. 
Georgina Pearce oversees the boys who tour schools encouraging safe skating and healthy living. You should eat a lot of fruit, guys. Gives them a whole heap of leadership skills um, and different public speaking and community skills. It's really great. Remember, stay away from the energy drink, guys. They've even won an Australian Crime and Violence Prevention Award. Winning national awards, like, people wouldn't think it, but it's happened. We've changed. Just like these boys from Rockingham near Perth. If I wasn't here, I'd be at school doing nothing, getting bad grades, wagging. Instead, they're learning how to weld. Critical skills in a mining state and a huge leg up to a paid apprenticeship. Their face has been, you know, it's, it's like I can do something and I can do it well. Wayne Lloyd runs the Weld for Life program that focuses on adolescents who are at risk of offending. They've also won a crime prevention award, with 80% of participants steering clear of trouble. When they get on the streets of Rockingham, mate, they stand tall. Some wonderful initiatives there. And if you have a great story in your suburb that you think we should know about, send us an email. The address is on your screen. After the break, what you need to do...